Susan Clo on the go. Schlack. I know, weird name, but good beer. They're very proud of being in St. Louis. Schlafly has two locations. They've got a tap room and a bottle works. And we went to the bottle works where they're bottling all their beer. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Schlafly Bottle Works, they do free brewery tours. You start out in this place that they call the Bruseum, and then they take you around and you get to see how the beer is being made. Where are we? It's freezing in here. So, uh, this is called Great White because it's a Great White cooler. The Great White sounds like a shark. So that's see what we did there. Um, it's where we keep all the beer. So right after it comes off the line, it's cold. We want to keep it cold before it gets to a distributor. We did the spinning. the boxes? This is spinning. It is. We got This is your sign for a lot of things. Is it? Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. <laughs> so why don't we go and see how it's made? was so knowledgeable about beer. What's going on inside this tank right now is it's like a rave. It's like it's come the, the yeast goes totally bananas inside the tank. They, they start eating, they start reproducing, and they start <laughs> yeah, they start having, and they reproduce a little differently from humans. They all they clone asexually. So like oh my God. let's say we're talking here and you like reproduce like yeast, suddenly like a little would like pop off of your shoulder and then start talking to it. Eventually that would like break off and run away naked. That would be, if you reproduced like you did, a little one of you would run away nude into the brewery. The job of this machine is to take bottles off of pallets and put them into a single file line. It's called the depalletizer. The brown bottles help filter out any uh, sunlight that could make your beer really skunky. Each bottle's got to be cleaned out, rinsing out bits of glass or dust, killing any bacteria or wild yeast that could be in there. Cheers! Thanks, sir. Their pumpkin ale, oh, it's so good. It's like definitely in my top three. We bottle it all cold. We also print the date right on the front. We always know how fresh the beer is just by looking at it. At the bottom of each one of our bottle caps, we'll say a place where you can buy Flapley beer. So um, if you want to see that up close, it lists an intersection and a zip code where you can find Schlafly beer. And you get free samples at the end. I will take it. What you find with beer is that the beer styles themselves are informed more by geography, history, um, they have stories behind them. There's a beer style called an India Pale Ale where, where British brewers made a specially designed beer for their troops in India. And as they ship their beer over to India, they need to make sure that it wouldn't spoil. Turns out that hops are a natural antimicrobial and natural oh my preservative. Gosh. So they load up their India Pale Ales, we call them IPAs, yeah. with lots and lots of hops. And that's why they're so bitter, because they've got lots of extra hops. Exactly. You're getting so much knowledge right We are. Now. My brain is just feeling so wise and old. That's the beer, probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wednesdays, they have a farmer's market. That's very cool. How many breweries do you know that have like a farmer's market every week? And they have a restaurant and their beer bread. I grew up on beer bread and their beer bread is the best beer bread I've ever had. Lovely. You got it going on. Yeah.